Right, we're gonna start watching Slime OVA, the second important story, Visions of Coleus, Coleus, I don't know how to pronounce it, but apparently they talk about primordial demons, and it's important to the story, so we're gonna check out all three episodes. Let's begin. <laughs> Who's in there? Is that Hinata or Shizu? Shizu, right? It, it, it kind of looks like both, right? I, I don't know, whatever it takes, I will grant your wish. Who is this? The face kind of looks like Shizu. But we know Shizu's dead. Artificial Shizu, they've been like... Keeping this frozen? It's like a frozen place. Why is she naked? Why is she fucking naked though? And if she touches a thing, her hand like turns all like red and... What is this effect? Who knows man? I will grant your wish. Luminous is still trying this? Okay, to Kalias? Kalias? How do you pronounce it? I'll pronounce it however Rimuru pronounces it. This fucking rad. I can't believe we even shared meals like this, man. Like, how are you selling us out after we gave you all the manga, after we take care of Hinata's kids, after we share meals like this, and you still fucking backstabbed us? Kodius, Kodius. <sighs> Oh, it's near the Holy Empire. Politics inside, the son of a concubine and his younger brother. So this is, I don't know which one is which, but left might be crown prince and the right is the concubine, the younger brother. Who's backing the concubine's son? A rank. He's so hyped up talking about these people. A rank. Have we even had like rank adventures before? Like A, S. I can't remember. Because we never really fuck around with like the adventurous guild in this anime because we're like way too fucking important. And yeah, I'm Yuki's voice actor is like very familiar. He's a great man known far and wide as the hero of the blistering sand. A rank adventure. Okay. <laughs> Idiot trails B rank? That doesn't make them really sound strong then, huh? Backstabber! Bald. Bald. <laughs> Okay, this is Aslan, okay. Aslan looks like a Giga Chad. Yuki acts so fucking friendly with Rimuru. I cannot believe you still backstabbed us. This is the substitute teacher, right? Wandering around aimlessly. <laughs> no, we're going there. Yeah, we're going there. How'd you know? His face? This guy's face just looks so dweeb-like. But like, if you look at his build, oh my god. This is like a fucking Giga Chad, dude. We couldn't say no to him. Alias? What name would be cool? An alias. We should go in there as Gopta. No, <laughs> we can't go in there as Gopta. A troll name? A funny name? Tamuro! Fuck it! Our friend back at home, back on Earth. Tamuro? Tamuro? Yeah, we'll fucking use his name. He knows the secret almost. Rimuru just gave it away. You know, sometimes you like, you know, you go in with the bluff and if the, the other side just like admits it without confirmation, it's like, well, you just fucking gave it away, bro. Come on. Nah, Rimuru just gets fucking lucky, dude. <laughs> Younger sister. Is this like more OVA content? More other stuff? Because there seems to be a lot of like, I've never seen this dude. But so far, it seems like Rimuru and this guy have some kind of like um animosity. Well, at least Rimuru thinks that this guy hates him. So, more, is this his light novel content that's been covered? Oh, it's his OVA stuff? Signed diaries? Some other stuff? Okay, OVA stuff. 
これからは気をつけますよねえぜひとは簡単なのですそのことを肝に銘じておくように If it's so easy then you do it ゴージョサトルサトルゴージョサ Is that his real name? サトル Was that his real name back on earth? I forgot his actual name サトル Was that actually him? Yes Not his VTuber name, his PL name いいですか私が証明ではなく当然ですサトルという身元不明者が何をしようとはですわかりました外出先ではサトルとして行動しますよパウロバウルバウルパウロ当然だったからねほうありがとうございますけど実践ではどうか Does he have practical experience? そちらは I don't think he does then, huh? こちらはリムルさん B plus. B plus. B plus. <laughs> so what? We can't. We have to be like not sus, right? So we're intentionally like B minus or B plus. Paro's A minus, but like we we're gonna end up saving Paulo, right? So I wonder how Rimuru is gonna be able to kind of like flex without being caught. <laughs> We're not true Demon Lord status right now, but even season one, Rimuru is pretty fucking strong. Soundproofing. So no one can overhear us. What the? Okay, this fucking bartender dude is a giga chat. Okay, he's got like super important elemental magic airflow shut so that, you know, clients can talk in private. What a professional. Bald. I'm excited in what kind of things Paolo would do. Like, is he gonna be an idiot? Is he gonna fuck shit up for us? Is he like overly cocky? He seems like a good guy. Alright. If he's stupid, then maybe there's some、uh, points in the story where Rimuru can do something cool and then Paolo will have a misunderstanding and it will, will get away with still being known as like a B rank adventurer, like a B plus or some shit. It's your own money. Yeah, what'd you spend it on? <laughs> on what? What'd you buy? He bought it all in his fucking hair dye, bro. Look at his hair. Ranga's with us? Okay. Waga Aruji! I am barehanded, Paolo. Actually, barehanded? So. I can't understand you, bro. You're gonna fight this barehanded against the poison thing? Not a good idea. Paolo, you gonna be okay? Paolo, stop! I don't know. He he beat it, right? He punched it, but it's like, bro, it's poison. So, you know, melee attack's not gonna fucking work, but he's kind of funny. He's kind of funny. His, his voice acting's fucking hilarious. Do we know this voice actor? Alright, here's your fucking potion. Do we know this voice actor? This is Himmel's voice actor? That's right. You gotta listen to our orders. A B plus rank adventure is ordering a A minus. Yeah, why'd you go in bare knuckhand? Like bare handed? You got no money. You know what? This kind of seems kind of stupid. I in any game I played, um, I love like um swordsmen, but like there was something always appealing about like a class that only used fists, right? Bare hand, right? Being able to beat like um people that uses weapons with bare hands. There's like a little bit of some kind of like a man's romance behind that, man. I I, I love that kind of aesthetic. <sighs> All right, got my staff. Probably so OP. Oh, he's pretty good with it. The potion looks like a Rimuru. Sama! Is he gonna meet Ride Rimuru too? I mean, everyone does. 
Okay, we've arrived. It's got that like a uh, Aladdin theme. Uh, OVA stuff? Who is this guy? Well, what was the story of the OVA of saving the sister? Like, what was the significance of, like, saving her sister? Her sister was someone else? Jeff Sensei? Uramus san's sister. This is Uramus. How, like, what is, like, the importance of these characters? Sister had cancer and Rimura cured it? How did Rimura cure the cancer? Did he just fucking, like, use, like, devour on the cancer? He just fucking ate the cancer or some shit? Must be. Or maybe just, like, potion? You just fucking... I bet the potion could cure it or something. Up? No way she did an operation! Ain't no- We actually did surgery? We- We actually did surgery on it? Whoa! <laughs> Honey? <laughs> okay, but... Important for the story, the OVA, we cured her cancer and now... They might see us like we owe them a favor or something, or like they owe us a favor. <laughs> this is Jeff Sensei. Oh! She phoned. Jeff. Hello, Paolo. <laughs> okay, Paolo. Cool, Paolo. Hi! Oh. <laughs> is he getting sent to prison? <laughs> Dude, she was so mean. She's like, oh, great, Rimuru. Thank you for saving my sister. Oh, hello, Paul. Um, guards, guards, take him out. <laughs> Oh, damn, this is a feast. This guy's fucking huge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's filthy. What is he doing? What kind of food you giving him? Fucking bone scraps? No, we're not doing... Take her back? No! We're just here to look at the princess and get intel. Despite how he may seem. <laughs> Jeff does kind of look a little mean. Okay. Right, Prince Aslan is a concubine son. And then there's the crown prince, the other guy. These people back not Prince Aslan, they back the crown prince. Hmm. <gasps> crown prince is good, but concubine's prince is good. I don't know, maybe both prince fucking suck. Yo, fuck both princes. Let's put Paolo as the next in line. No, we can't be doing that. Oh, there's a, there's a princess. Zenobia. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry there. Well, we don't know. Well, is he crown prince? I don't know. Princess? I don't know. Like, because it's a concubine. I don't know. That we can cure with a potion? Just splash the fucking potion on her? Yeah? Just, just fucking... <laughs> and then... Okay. A lot of side missions we're doing for them, huh? Yeah, go get some intel, bro. For some reason... Like, I feel like a lot a lot of budget went into the scene. It's just so vibrant, the way that they're moving here. I don't know, it, it just Rimuru looks a lot alive here for some reason. Maybe it's just because the colors are more bright. Look at the hair move. <laughs> Alright, surely Paolo's not gonna fuck this up, right? So it! Huh, my liege! It's always yes. I can't trust Paolo, yes. Two it's always! And this is <laughs> cross dressing removed already. Yo, she, she, <laughs> yo, she definitely was like, oh, Rimuru would look so cute in this, right? Look, look at the look at the look of you know, just like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta put this boy in this little clothes. Hello. Men aren't allowed. Okay. 
court physician Gustav. Is he intentionally making people sick? No, he's creepy as fuck, dude. No, 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 no. I don't like this guy. Gustav is fucking creepy. <laughs> she has someone come this then. I didn't even talk in a high pitched voice. Scammer? Nah, he's gotta be the scammer. I bet you he's intentionally making Zenobia sick or something. I just feel like this is the type of quack doctor that's willing to get people, you know, sick or they make them sick for their own political game, bro. This guy sucks. Hey, though, we haven't met the king yet, the emperor. Hello. She's blind? Hmm. She is blind. He would have been fucking cured of cancer. Blindness, he should be able to do it, right? Hmm. Okay. Thank God she's 18. Thank you for clearing that up. Thank you. Concealing with makeup. Oh, she's actually really, really like malnourished. Great Sage soundtrack. It's like 8-bit soundtrack. It's gotta be Gustav, right? It's gotta be Gustav that's like... What is, she, what is he doing? Like, been fucking poisoning her since her fucking birth? So she's been blind forever? I don't know, I just... It's gotta be Gustav somehow. Oh, tiny little little... Oh, little prick. Blood test, just with a little prick. That's crazy, bro. Beat the girl! Huh? People are saying honey in the OVA when we cause the cure the cancer. So like, this is the honey you're talking about? Apito's honey? Is it like even better than a like 99.99999% potion? Are we gonna ever see it in like season 3? Apito? Who is Apito? It must be more OVA people. So the Apito is skipped content. Honey is from the OVA. And then we give Milim the honey? <laughs> Why do we give Milim honey? Wait, is it- Did we give Milim honey in the anime, though? There must have been a quick moment. Apito Slime Diaries? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. First thing we did was give Milim honey when she was trying to fight with us. And she was like, she got baited with that. That was Apito's honey. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We gotta be professional here. Drink that shit, girl. Imagine she opens her eyes after drinking this. That'd be crazy. <laughs> No! Shut up! <laughs> what the fuck is this honey? What? He just... <laughs> bro, bro, you see those fucking, you know, um, church people? You know these, like, um, fraudulent church ceremonies where it's like a person's in a fucking wheelchair and it's like, I bestow you upon the power! Drink some honey. And you're like, oh... Oh, I can walk! <laughs> and then they just fucking get up. She just cured blindness. Great. It was it was malnourishment, right? At the end of the day, it was the, it was a malnourishment, but like crazy. <laughs> and the first thing she sees is Rimuru. Don't tell me you're gonna fall in love with Rimuru. Yo, you know it's like an animal that like a baby. Whoever they like um get birth, they see the first person as their parent. First thing she sees is you know Rimuru. So. Dub, Apito Honey, Apito Honey OP. And that's it for episode of, episode one of this, um, the visions of Coltius. Now, we haven't seen any visions just yet, but basically what's happening is there's this kingdom of Coltius and they're having, they're having a turbulent time where they're trying to figure out who should be the uh, ruler, the crown prince or the concubines prince, right? Two brothers kind of duking it out and we're here to get the intel on it so that the guild that Yuki runs can decide who to back. So this quack doctor, uh, Gustav, seems to be the main antagonist so far. I'm not really sure. He seems like definitely one of the antagonists. And we still haven't met the princes yet. So don't really know who's really good or who's bad. Saving uh, this girl, Zenobia, right? Or some shit? Like with just the tiny tea curing her blindness is fucking crazy to me. That is fucking insane. How potent is this goddamn honey? Apito's honey? 
fucking insane. And Paolo? Paolo is pretty fun. He's like a happy, you know, idiot, right? Kind of stupid, kind of just very, just honest, right? So he's around doing a little intel work. I'm sure so he's gonna have to rescue his ass multiple times, but hey, pretty interesting premise for this OB series. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.